Okay, welcome back to my opinion. Uh, this is just a little update on my Glock 26. Um, I think it's completely done now. I've done all I'm going to do to it. And uh, i got to be careful here. Uh, but uh, what I have done to it, I'm going to bring this down here. Hopefully I can capture it all. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. What I've done to it is I have put uh, some aftermarket uh, from the Glock store, uh, some pins and uh, that stuff you see right there. Uh, I've stippled it a little bit. Uh, I got the, the largest back strap on it. Um, I've stippled it in key locations where my hands... Uh, touch the the, fr the uh, frame on the grip uh, I didn't go all extensive on it um, also did it over here just so I have a, a place for my thumb to have contact with this is the 26 uh, Gen 5 of course the night sights I told you about in a previous video uh, they are the uh, excess big dot it's a big tritium in the front and tritium night sights in the back uh, not flashing myself there um, but yeah there's no internal I haven't done anything internally and I'm probably not going to that's just kind of not my thing I have thought about the uh, Glock uh, factory um, trigger that has recently come out um, oh, and I did put the extension uh, grips, the Pierce extension grips on the mags because my two fingers just, that's not enough for me. And it does make a difference. I took it to the gun range and shot the hell out of it. It does make a difference to have that pinky extension on the mags. And I put it on all three of my mags. Um, but yeah, uh, it... Uh, and it shoots a whole lot better with those on it, um, for me, anyway. A lot of people claim it doesn't make a difference to them, and it might not to them, but it, it did to me. I shot it both ways, and it was definitely a huge difference for me. But back to, um, there's a Glock trigger made by Glock that you can put in. It's a performance trigger or something. It's not an aftermarket. It's made by Glock. It's supposed to be a little better. Um... I may or may not. I probably won't. Uh, triggers and Glocks, even the aftermarkets. I've had aftermarket trigger, triggers and Glocks before. And they tend to be a little better feel-wise, but not really. A Glock trigger is pretty much a Glock trigger. You're never going to turn it into a 1911 trigger. Uh, or a... Uh, um, Beretta 92 trigger. It's it's just never going to be like that. It's never going to be that smooth. Um, so I'll probably just leave it alone. It's more than adequate, um, combat effective. It's a 26. You're not going to take it, you know, competition or target anyway. It's for self defense, and that's that's what this is for for me. Because uh, everything I've done to it is for self defense. Even the stippling, the, the little bit of stippling that I've done on the frame is purely for a better grip. So, and of course it shoots excellent. I have had no problems. Several hundred rounds through it. No problems at all. Uh, my, I still have my Beretta PX4 Storm compact carry. Uh, it shoots better. It's much smoother. The trigger's nicer. It's just hard to find anything for those. Um, holsters, especially. Uh, Glocks, I mean, you can find holsters left and right. Oh, and I did uh, get me uh, my new uh, Galco specifically designed. Now see, just like this, here's an example. I tried to find one of these for the PX4 Storm. And luckily, I did have a one of these for a... Um, USP 9mm compact that fits perfectly for the uh, Beretta PX4 Storm but 
they don't make one specifically. Galco does not make one specifically for the Beretta PX4 Storm. You can bind holsters, but for the PX4 Storm, but nowhere near like you can a Glock. This is specific for a Glock 26. So, and you'll find that all day and night for Glocks. Um, carries perfectly fine. I love these holsters. I've done a video on these. These are the Galco Stow and Goes, in case you're wondering. They're awesome. Uh, it's my favorite holster. It's super comfortable, and it's it, it guards the trigger. You're not going to pull that trigger. And plus, too, you can just take it right out of your holster with the, the firearm in it. The clip is perfect. It, it's not going to come undone or anything like that. It's a good quality holster. You never have to take the gun out of your waistband or put it in your waistband, uh, a Glock, which is a little more uncomfortable when you're doing that appendix carry than, say, a PX4 Storm. So that was the whole reason for a, a PX4 Storm or for a uh, uh, hammer-fired pistol in the first place. I'm still a little uncomfortable. It's, it's hard to do, but I know Glocks are safe. They're not SIG P320s. Uh, I know they're safe. Um, but this way, you can just put it in the holster up here, take it out up here, and then put the gun and the holster, the whole thing, in. You don't have to mess with trying to put it in, uh, trying to get around your belly, around shirts, etc., so forth, so on. So, I like these. But yeah, my Glock 26, it's a Gen 5. It's done extremely well. It's the newest of the Gen's, Gen 5s and it has the uh, serrations in the front. Um, it's done real well. Um, it's not, it's a Glock. So it doesn't feel the best in your hand. Nothing like my PX4 Storm compact carry. Uh, or even um, HK's, um, SK30, or I think it's 30, SK30s or BP9s, I mean, man, those are just fit like, like a glove, but it's a Glock, so you have to kind of fit your hand around it, that's why people stipple Glocks so much, because they do suck as far as the grip, but they're combat adequate, they're, they're perfectly fine, um, why they go with a Glock, because you can find everything in the world for a Glock, uh, anything you need, anything you want. There's lots of parts laying out here. If there's ever any kind of natural disaster, catastrophe, anything like that, you're going to be able to find Glock parts laying in the streets, if you know what I mean. Let's be honest. In homes, etc., in stores, whatever, you're going to be able to find parts. Um, mags, etc. They're so versatile. And they're, let's be honest, man, they, they just... They're an excellent gun. Are they the best? No. But are they all around an excellent firearm for something like that? Yeah, absolutely. And for concealed carry, absolutely again. That's my opinion. Uh, I went with Glocks. There's, there's probably better ones, easier fit ones uh, that I don't know about. But there's like the SIG P365. I'm sure it's better. I've had it in my hand before from at stores, and I just the grip is so small. I don't like those small grips. They make they feel that's the Hellcat too, same way. I, I don't like it. That's me. Um, but the Glock grip now, yes, I'm I'm complaining about the grip of the Glock 26 specifically. It's so short and it just doesn't have a natural fit. But it'll work. It's fine, and it doesn't compromise, especially after I put that pinky extension and that little bit of stippling around where my hand contacts the gun. It works just fine. Uh, when I took it and shot a couple hundred rounds through it after I did that, it, it that pinky extension, it did not move in my hand at all. So that makes the big difference for me because I was going to get rid of it if it didn't. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's my opinion. Like, share, and subscribe. Stay safe and be safe.